come back. In the next step, we're going to go ahead and finish this groove. I mean, we have the groove tool in the spindle right now. Why not do that? So here I'm going to, again, select, alt select there. And here I'm going to go down to finishing. Now, just to be different, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change myself to the type of finishing we want to profiling. Okay, and here you can see again, it grabbed that tool, but just to play with the lower turret, I'm not gonna use this tool. Instead, I'm gonna come over to my tool settings. And I'm gonna say, you know what? Let's use our lower turret. And in my lower turret, I wanna use that tool there. And of course, that's gonna be the tool on the left side of my turret, and it's gonna come in this way. Now, the tool path is offset here because on the machine, this is a slant bed lower. So what we would need to do let me turn off the tool display here, is if we look at this, we can rotate down and you get a better idea of what's happening. Now, in this case, what I'd like to do is easy to understand. I want to program from two directions at once. So the tool is going to lead in, come down, come off, lead in, come down, come off. Cool. And from there, I also want to program by two points. Why not? This is for highly accurate tool path. Let's go set our feeds and speeds as well. Again, we want constant surface feet. Here I'm gonna go up to maybe 800 surface feet and I want a nice finish, so 5,000 per rev. I'll let this thing max out at 4,000 RPM. And we're done. And again, we get to see that simulation. Here the lower turret is indexing. It's going to approach, right? And now it's gonna do its thing. And you can see the perfect little cut. Nice.